he's going back to work now. That's right. Back, back to work. See, if I had had this in high school, I would have gotten a date. Double dates. Ooh. <laughs> Takes it to bed with him. Well, I can't wait to integrate Nintendo DS into my everyday life, and I want you to hear what some developers are saying about some of the fantastic features, like wireless. Wireless capability potentially allows uh, game players to connect wirelessly uh, literally around the world. The wake up and play uh, wireless approach is, is really neat. I, I keep imagining uh, sitting on a bus or a train, popping up in your DS and finding somebody else who's maybe a few seats uh, down from you. Next thing you know, you look up, you meet eyes, you say, wow, I've got a new friend. Ah. The big role is social interaction between players. It's more fun to beat up on your friend than it is to beat up on the, on the computer or the AI. <laughs> Touch screen, I love this. The feature that for us is the most revolutionary uh, is the, the touchscreen. Touchscreen is a very uh, blank canvas for uh, a game designer to be able to design their own input features. And holding the hardware, holding the device, uh, uh, I would say having even much more physical contact with it, that is going to generate automatically more emotion, more more excitement, and more fun for the player, which is basically what what we are here for. We love the dull screen. <laughs> dull screen is uh, an amazing thing for our game designer. Well, traditionally in the handhelds, you haven't been able, because of the size of the screen, to get a lot on the screen at the same time. With the DS, you can have some of the information on one screen while you're not interrupting the game on the second screen. The Nintendo Dual Screen is uh, something that we're really excited about uh, developing for. It's uh, very innovative, which is classic Nintendo that they've uh, taken a form factor and taken it to the next level. I think this is going to be the trend for the future. I think with a dual screen, the game designers can do things that the, the gamers are comfortable with and be able to broaden the type of games that you do on a handheld. Other features, DS has left and right controls, and A, B, and X, Y controls, and the familiar plus pad and select button. It has great sound processing with 16-bit sound. The cartridge format gives a lithium battery long life. There are two ports, one for your Game Boy Advance games and another for your DS format games with memory expansion and access. It's an instant library of over 500 games. And look, it has speech recognition. Bark! Ah! Thank you. DS has twin backlit screens. That's right, the bottom one is a programmable touch screen, <laughs> so the controller can be unique with every game experience. I love it that. It is truly amazing, and I know you definitely want to get your hands on one of these. Yeah, awesome. it is. Well, I think the touch screen is fantastic. What about the touch screen? Uh, that's really focusing on game designers. I'm trying to go game entirely in the way. The touch screen is a very uh, blank canvas for our game designer to be able to design their own input. Holding the hardware 